How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to respond to another popular health and fitness question. Over the past three years I have had clients, friends and family members constantly bombard me with one burning question. How much cardio do I have to do in order to stop my thighs from jiggling? Flatten my tummy. Get a six pack. Get rid of my arm flap. Make my butt smaller. I think you get the picture. In this video, I am going to explain what cardio is and then attempt to answer just how much of it you need to lose weight based on what science has shown. To do this, I use peer-reviewed scientific articles published by researchers from across the globe. If you are interested to see where I am pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. So, what is cardio? Cardio is a popular abbreviation for cardiovascular exercise. This type of exercise is traditionally known for increasing your heart rate anywhere from 60 to 80% of its maximum capacity using light to moderately intense activity. Regular cardiovascular exercise has been shown to improve oxygen uptake, decrease blood pressure, and increase the heart's efficiency at pumping blood. While these are all valid reasons to engage in cardiovascular exercise, the majority of the population is fixated on weight loss and believe that cardio is their golden ticket to losing fat around their body. And while doing cardio will certainly help, just how much of it do you have to do in order to notice weight loss? Let's take a closer look. To answer this question, I am going to talk about three different types of cardiovascular exercise that the majority of the population engages in. Type 1 involves performing exercise at around 60 to 65 percent of your maximum heart rate. You would have to exercise at this intensity for seven hours just to burn off one pound of body fat. This type of cardio is essentially useless for people that are serious about losing weight. But hey, at least you get to stay on Facebook, talk to your friends, and not smudge your makeup while you're doing it. You've got that going for you, so that's nice. The second type involves performing exercise anywhere from 65 to 80 percent of your maximum heart rate. Eric, yeah, I know. Yeah, the leaves really do suck. Yeah. <sighs> Although this type of exercise is a little bit more efficient than the previous type, you still have to work for five hours at this intensity just to lose one pound of body fat. This type of cardio is more effective than the Facebook method, but there is still a more effective way to lose fat. Let's take a look. This third type of exercise consists of short bursts of activity at approximately 80% or higher of your maximum heart rate, followed by rest periods. It'll take almost four and a half hours to burn a pound of body fat using this technique from a calorie perspective. But yet several studies have shown that this type of training in as little as eight weeks is going to significantly decrease subcutaneous fat, abdominal trunk fat, body mass, and waist circumference way more so than the previous two types of cardio that I talked about. So why is this the case? Stay tuned because in a few weeks I'm going to do an episode on why this type of exercise training is so much more effective than traditional methods at fat burning, 
and helping out with other medical issues. But in any case, out of the three different types of cardiovascular training that I talked about today, if you're serious about losing weight fast, type 3 is, in my opinion, the best way to do it. So back to the original question. How much cardio do I have to do to lose weight? Depending on your genetic makeup and how intense you exercise, it can take as long as 7 hours and as short as 4 or 4.5 four hours to lose just 1 pound of body fat. Stay tuned because in my next video I am going to talk about 3 different ways that you can sneak cardio into your strength workouts to boost fat loss. So what's your favorite form of cardio? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And if you want to see me make more content, feel free to subscribe. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong.